Hey everybody, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. Today we're gonna to share with you our ZR2 build. So this is a 2018 Colorado ZR2, the V6 edition. We're going to show you the steps that we took to, to make our camp kitchen in the back. Uh, we're also gonna relocate the spare tire. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of great things. We've already installed our awning, but we have a lot more to come with this vehicle, so make sure you stay tuned. So guys, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, and that's kind of where I got my inspiration for a lot of this build. I wanna thank Brad from Trail Recon. I also wanna thank Marcos from Overland X. Uh, they gave me some terrific ideas that I've been able to implement in my build. And if you don't know who they are, make sure you do a search for them and follow them on YouTube. Two wonderful accounts. Um, so what we're going to talk about here as we move in closer is the 8020 system. The 8020 system is a modular extruded aluminum that comes with a lot of different fittings and a lot of different connections. And so what I tended to use in my build were these roll-in nuts and they can be inserted and placed anywhere. This is called a T-nut. It can also slide anywhere along the inside and it comes with these brackets. And with these brackets, um, you want to uh, use your, um, your nut here. We also are going to use Loctite throughout the entire build. And this goes together like an erector set. And you'll hear, hear it referred to as the adult erector set because that's exactly what it is. So once we slide in another T-nut into an adjoining piece of material, then it's just a matter of connecting them. Part of our design parameters were to utilize heavy duty slides that were readily available. Now slides come in 48, 55, and 60. The 60 inches would not work for our application. We do have a short box that measures 60 inches exactly. So we went with the 48 by 32 and the 32 inch is there to allow us the width we need for our Dometic stove and sink combination. Okay, so make sure that you measure twice, cut once. Obviously that's the most important part here. So as we stated, we've got some pieces that are 12 inches. We're gonna go ahead and cut those up. I'm using a rigid chop saw here. It just has a standard blade, the blade that came with it from um, the store. And we're gonna go ahead and cut through this. We want the blade to come up to full speed before we cut. As you can see, it leaves a very clean cut. Now it's just a matter of securing all the pieces and making sure everything is secure. Remember to use Loctite on all the fittings. So here we are, this is the finished skeleton of the camp kitchen. And you can see that we have extra gussets on the corners for stability. We're still gonna use the top of this for storage. And we have um, a polymer panel that finishes out the exterior. We have 400 pound slides. Like I said, they're 48 inches. They lock in and lock out. And this is the overall skeleton. So you'll see here that we have two locations for two drawers. These are the drawer slides here. They're 100 pounds a piece. We outfitted it, uh, this inner panel here, with a felt wrapped quarter inch plywood. Now in the back here, you'll see there's some plywood that's not wrapped. This is actually going to be for the water holding tank. We should be able to hold a total of 10 gallons with a uh, battery capacitor, ultra capacitor. A system here to run the water pump. Water pump will be mounted in this location or on the base location. And then here in the front will be the Dometic stove and sink combo. So let's go ahead and get started on installing. So first things first, we're gonna check our drawer fit. Nice, we'll get the next drawer. Soft closed drawers, awesome. So our Dometic stove is gonna rest on top of these L brackets. What we've done is we've made a template, we've cut out a piece of wood to support the Dometic stove, and it's just gonna drop in place. We're gonna support that with screws from underneath. So we have some more of our black plastic here. We're gonna use this to trim out the front. And once again, this will be secured with screws so that it all has a nice finished look. Okay, so once the uh, unit is all the way inside, we're going ahead and we're gonna put on our top. Uh, the top is probably the heaviest component of the camp kitchen because we're gonna use it for storage. So we're gonna probably have our uh, front runner bags um, or some type of storage unit, uh, storage items in here so that we can keep uh, clothes, first aid, recovery uh, equipment all on the top. We're also gonna use uh, aircraft tie down aluminum on top of it uh, to make sure that our cargo is secure when we're underway. So here we are with the uh, tie downs all secured in place. 
there. Now, next we're gonna see if our spare tire will fit in the back. And next we'll be checking out our fridge. So this is a stock 31 inch tire that comes with a ZR2, a stock rim. And we're just gonna slide it back here. This is gonna be its new home. I'm going to uh, have a, a proper strap to make sure that the tire is held in place. So I created my own platform and slide for my um, Ingle refrigerator. It has 100 pound rated slides and it's just on some angle channel and it's gonna fit right here in front of the spare tire. And then it'll slide out. So it's been a great day here in Southern California, although it's been about 95 or 96 degrees. We got a lot done today. Um, this is the Ingle uh, refrigerator, the Platinum Series. It's a wonderful refrigerator. It's a proven refrigerator. Um, and that Fuji swing motor, you really can't beat. So I hope that you guys will take some of our ideas here, put them to good use. I know that we have a lot more details to finish up here, so make sure you stay tuned. The Ingle refrigerator and the camp kitchen are also gonna be powered by solar. So if you're interested in solar power, stay tuned, because we're gonna show you how to connect solar panels, batteries, and even ultra capacitors coming up in future episodes. So make sure you subscribe. Have a great day.